Hey everyone, so um, just a quick reminder, um, the goal of these videos is basically to learn React. Um, it's kind of intended for people that are kind of new to React or um, kind of want to improve their coding chops. And it's, a lot of it's just for me to kind of improve my coding chops and do it live and um, have you guys have a chance to see how I would attack um, a React problem. All right, so we kind of left off building out this to-do list and it's just right now it's a static to-do list. And our goals are to learn React, learn some components, props and state, learn some testing, integrate React with the back end and have some ancillary learning as well. Um, it's part of a series, so there's two videos before this. The first one kind of talks about passing in props, and the second one um, uses the map um, method of arrays to kind of solve an algorithm to build out um, this little array here. All right, so um, today we're just going to talk about state and how we're going to manage state of um, a React component. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's look at our code real quick, just kind of review. So we have um, our main app, and basically right now we're taking in this um, statically generated um, data that's we're just holding in this todos.js file. Um, we can change that to a JSON later if we want. Um, but basically it's an array that has um, different uh, objects inside of it and some strings inside of it. All right. Um, so we get that, that data in here, we bring it in, and what we're going to be doing today is doing this chunk here. So we're going to basically say, uh, and build out a constructor. So if you had been following the video series, we kind of left it off at this point. So basically we're, we're passing in that static data into our list. Our list then takes it um, and renders a bunch of an unordered list and basically flattens that out. And for every time there's a string, it returns a list item. Otherwise, if it's an array, it turns a bunch of list items or potentially if it's an object, it will then make a new level of that list. Um, by basically calling this list um, component again. All right, so that's kind of where we're at. And today we want to basically be able to add and subtract things from that list. All right, so well actually we're just going to focus on adding for now and then we'll, we'll move on to doing things like completions and deletions. Um, so completions are going to generate strike through, um, deletions are just going to remove something from our list because we might want to learn more than just these things. Um, we might want to add to our list as we go along um, and get more to do's. All right, so first thing, components have this great property called state. And state of a component is basically what is going to tell, our changes in that state are going to basically tell the renderer to update um, what the UI looks like. So that's kind of how React works. Um, it basically generates a um, diffable H or HTML. Um, and if there's any changes, then it will update and cause a re-render function to occur. So it's basically going to rerun this function if there's a change in state. Um, and there's a couple other things that will change, change whether or not, or will run this, this render function as well. All right, but the one we're going to focus on for today, as I said, is state. So we're just going to make a constructor. Um, that constructor takes a number of variables, but we're not going to worry about them for right now. Um, we're going to invoke super. Um, just so that we inherit all the things from component um, from its base class. And then we're basically going to say this.state equals to do's. And we're just going to do that. So um, because it has this variable right now, or this constant right now, um, we can just basically unpack that constant right into state just like that. All right, so let me say this.state.to do's. And so now we should be back up to the same place we were. All right. And the reason that we're doing this, so we have to think about who owns this list of to-dos. So in this case, we're going to have our entire app owning that thing. Even though it looks like the list kind of owns it, because we're passing it through props, um, the actual owner is this guy. So if we want to do any modifications, we have to do and kind of control the modifications at this level. So our first modification is we're going to basically add something to our list. All right. So to do that, we're going to just make a simple button. And we're going to add a method to it. And so React has a bunch of pre-built methods that are event handlers. So one of them is on click. So that's what's obviously going to be fired when you click um, on a button. And um, we're going to fire a function when it um, is clicked. So let's say this dot handle add click. Seems like a reasonable name. And let's say add. All right. So Basically, we're saying, when we click this button, fire this method. 
All right, we don't have that method yet, but we should at least see this showing up in our, and there it is, doesn't do anything. Fires off undefined and nothing happens. All right, so what do we want that button to do? Well, we need to make that method here. So this dot handle click. And there's kind of two different ways to attack this. Um, a lot of people will kind of do it this way. All right, so that is the general method constructor. Um, and that's great. Um, the challenge becomes when you pass this thing around. So because this is a method of an object, um, when you pass it around, it loses reference to this. And so the next thing that you'll see people that write it this way do is they'll say this I handle click, handle add click, um, dot bind this. And so now when this thing's constructed, this method is always bound to this app or this component, sorry. All right, <clears throat> to the app component. All right, so that works fine. Um, there are a number of different shorthand strategies to kind of deal with that. Um, the one I use generally is the arrow function. So instead of making um, a um, method, I make a property, um, this to handle add click and have that property um, return an arrow function. All right. So right now, we're gonna basically add something to the state. And there are a number of different ways, like intuitively you'd just be like, hey, this.state.todos equals a new array. All right, so that's fine, sort of. I mean, it changes the state, but the thing that it doesn't do is it doesn't cause this re-render function to fire. And so React's gonna be like, hey, you don't really wanna modify state without using something else. And the something else is a method called set state. All right, so we're gonna say, hey, when you click something, change the state of this thing, and that's gonna cause the, the diffing engine to say, hey, does anything in here listen for that particular state key? And if it does, um, what is the diff that occurs in the, in the UI? All right, so um, let's just see that happen. All right, so the piece of state that we wanna set is the to-dos, and I'm gonna modify this eventually, but basically, you can pass in an object, but um, sometimes that can cause some issues, so Sometimes we want to actually pass in a callback, um, and we'll, we'll do that in a second. Um, all right, and so the to-dos are going to change from what they were to the same thing. At this point, they are just the same thing, because we just basically unpacked this array into an array. But we're going to add something, and right now we're just going to add hello world. So every time we click this thing, what we're gonna basically see is this to-do list, basically unpack that array, and we're gonna add a hello world. So we're gonna basically be able to make a bunch of hello worlds added on to this thing. Doink, 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 doink. All right, so it's pretty efficient. Um, so the rendering engine's like, oh, the, all these things didn't change. Um, we're just gonna add this thing on and we'll re-render that little chunk. All right, um, cool. So that's kind of the, the method for dealing with state um, and modifying state. So let's make our to-do list a little bit more useful. Um, maybe we wanna be able to add to a specific part of the list. So maybe we wanna be able to add um, a top level component like we just did now, or we wanna be able to add these kind of lower level pieces. Um, and how we're gonna deal with that is kind of gonna be the goal of our next video. All right, um, and we'll also change this thing to an input. So we're not just adding hello world, we're actually adding something more, more valuable. So more learning. So, cool. All right, so I'm going to stop there, and we'll jump onto the next piece in the next video. Thanks.